this is me again. Now I'm gonna be talking just about the plumbing system in our tiny house. When it comes to build tiny houses on wheel, we should never put any uh, plumbing pipes inside the exterior wall for many reasons. Even if like the house is supposed to be designed for Florida or somewhere it's never freezing, you never know what the customer is gonna do with the tiny house. Uh, and it's, I think it's good to uh, make sure if the customer, if for any reason the, custom, the, the tiny house goes somewhere it's, uh, it can freeze, it's good to know that there is no pipes inside the exterior wall. So here at Minimalis, we never put any pipes in the exterior wall. So I'm gonna talk about a little bit about the, the system in here inside the laurier. Pretty much the, the, the plumbing system is inside this part here. So if you wanna access very quickly, uh, you just have to, to put this, this part there. But if you wanna work on the, on the propane heater for any reason, you just have to remove this this wood part and now you can access this water heater. Uh, this is the water heater, we, uh, the propane water heater we put in any, any tiny house uh, for customer who, uh, who are okay with propane. In every tiny house design we do, we try to put the plumbing uh, pretty much the nearest possible. So right now you can see like the shower, uh, the plumbing system and the, the the kitchen sink is very near and there you can see that the kit the, the the small sink in the bathroom is there too and just uh, on the other side of this wall you can see uh, the plumbing for the combo washer dryer it's all pretty much in the same area of the tiny house so it, it makes it a little uh, simple a little more simple so uh, in every tiny house we build uh, we installed this, uh, this filtration system, um, it depends, uh, it can be bigger than this, but uh, it's the smallest we can put, like we always put the small particle filter and the big particle filter. We put this filtration system uh, because like we never know the source of the, the water, like I often say. Uh, we always think a lot about the resale value of our tiny home, you can make sure like wherever the tiny house is, uh, if this, the water source is uh, trustable or not, there is this filtration system in every tiny house. Uh, so in here, uh, all the valves are uh, well accessible and I write, always write like uh, what the valve, every valve is. So right now, like that's the, that's the main water valve. So uh, uh, it's very, uh, it's very simple. Here you have a little switch on off for the, the water heater. And this one, we put this one in every tiny house because it's good for winter too. So uh, there is an antifreeze system uh, that works like when uh, the sensor feels it's too cold inside, uh, it start the, kind of the burner starts for a couple of seconds just to make sure it never freeze inside. So that's very good for, for winter. And uh, it's, this one is vented through the floor. So we make sure we don't have to put a big hole inside the wall, the exterior wall. And uh, you can uh, keep the integrity of the, uh, the insulation of the house. About the, the plumbing system, we always offer a lot of options. Like for example, in the Acacia, our customer wanted to uh, maybe one day have a um, drinking water tank inside their tiny house. So we design a place where this tank will be and we design the plumbing for it. Our, our customer in California um, wanted um, an exterior water tap. Another example in the shine, the second tiny house we built, uh, the customer didn't have any uh, water source on the, on the land. So we designed and we installed them. It was a, a thousand liter tank inside uh, the bathroom for him to uh, to go grab the water to fill uh, this water tank and to have enough water uh, he had uh, he had a bathtub for example all right now for the last part of the video about the, the plumbing we're now inside the eben um, this is another kind of setup uh, we have for the, the water 
So uh, it's very, I'm kind of, we're kind of lucky we can show it to you. So this is, of course, the mechanical room. That's how you open it. And this is where everything is about the plumbing, about the radiant floor system. And of course you have the, the electric uh, hot water heater. So, so just to, um, to tell about the setup, uh, th those customer, they have kind of a bad water. They needed a, a kind of a big filtration system. So we designed pretty much the biggest uh, filtration system we can do in a, in a tiny home, but in pretty much in every house. Uh, it's a three-step uh, system. You have, of course, the main entrance. The, go the water is going there first inside the, the particle filter there. After that, the, ha the, the water is going uh, all the way behind the, the water, uh, the kind of radiant floor, and it's going inside this uh, hard water uh, softener filter. This is a very good machine. It's not very not uh, too much expensive and it does the work very well. And after that, uh, you have again a bypass system, but we have a UV filter. So I can plug it just to show you. It's kind of a tube with a light in it, a UV light, and the water pass is going from here to there. And uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little light there just to show that it's there is a light inside this little tube. And after that, it's going everywhere uh, inside the tiny home. So here, after that, you have first, you have the, the 30 gallon water heater. Some people are asking sometimes, why don't you use a tankless propane heater because you, it takes less space or whatever. The reason we use that in this house is first of all, this is an all electrical house. So there is no propane in this tiny home. And we then, then install a propane lane uh, a, a line I mean just for the, the water heater so um, and what's good about this is that um, it's good enough for uh, for the bath so if you want to take a hot bath the, the 30 gallon is way enough for you to to take a hot bath after that uh, you have here it's um, it's the valve where you uh, put your glycol for the radiant system the heating system but I'm talking about this in another video. So as you can see, um, there we have a lot of different way to uh, use um, the water that's available on the land of the customer. If the water is dirty uh, or whatever we can do, uh, whatever setup the customer need for him to have good drinking water inside the tiny home. If you're having any question about the plumbing, again, that's why we're kind of doing those videos. So uh, write it in the comment, comment below and we'll do our, our best to answer them. And we kind of want to create a community of DIY people. So we want to help those people who like wants to know how we do it or what we can do. So uh, this is one of the things you can do. Uh, so all right, uh, have a good day, have a good night, goodbye.